Welcome. I know I speak for many people when I say that I never thought we'd be holding another virtual ceremony this year, but that certainly beats the alternative of not holding any ceremony and not having anything at all to celebrate. But we have a lot of reasons to be proud this year and a lot of accomplishments to celebrate. I'm gonna go back to the spring of 2020 where we started planning for the reemergence of our campus and for our teams on the fields and playing surfaces. We had countless meetings and in those meetings, two consistent themes emerged. We told our students, expect a different year, but we're planning to play. I won't go into all the nuances and all the details that allowed us to construct a plan to play. Uh, and I will say that there are so many people who deserve appreciation for the approval and support and belief in us, uh, starting with President Brown, our medical advisory group, certainly appreciative to uh, Dr. Judy Platt, people who helped us solve problems, overcome challenges, and that's what this whole year has really been about. But in this year of challenges, we had some championship performances, and I have some distinct memories that I'll always carry with me. My first was in December when women's ice hockey played a game. That was validation. We said we were gonna play, and we did. And no matter what sport you played, I think that that moment represented hope for all of us. We can do this. And a second memory that I'm gonna have happened recently at the Patriot League Championship game here where field hockey was hosting. I won't go into all the details, but I'll say the contact tracing took place right up until game time. In fact, we had to move the time of the game. So as our field hockey team is sitting on Nickerson Field, and I said Nickerson, not New Balance, because they were sitting on Nickerson meditating, awaiting clearance, undoubtedly wondering if we were going to receive clearance to play. And can you imagine perhaps your final game of your career? You might not even have the opportunity to play, but, but they did play and lost an overtime game. I won't take with me the loss. What I will take with me is the noble effort, the resiliency and the flexibility that was exhibited. And that's what defined this team. That's what really defined this year. Our kids have been unbelievable. And whether you're a parent, an alum, a coach, I know you share in that pride. While it was a different year, we played and we excelled. We're all playing out of position. That's what it comes down to. Our first game, I was excited uh, when that was gonna happen. I remember somebody said, you must be really, really, really excited to have this game take place. And I told them, I'll tell you when the puck drops. Maggie Pina inside the three-point line this time, and that one's good. Emily Esposito, just like she's done all game long. Drops it up. Master Simone, a little daylight from the fly. Oh. Slip the wrist during the game. Right hand and a goal! David Ferentz to give the Terriers the victory in overtime. Jonas Harper aggressive to the rim. Cone working hard and scoring inside.
more in you than you know, you have more in you than you ever show the staff that you yourself. Find it there. left foot pulls the trigger tipped over the cage post and touch it box sends it far corner and she scores shot saved by Messner Marshall's follow-up tipped home by Wrench. The flag stays down and the Terriers are on top. Arwadi crosses into the middle, off the chest and into the back of the net for Marshall. That's what they do. And Marshall tucks it in the bottom corner. Given straight back to Lee. Give and go back to Lee in the middle. Can he get a shot off? He can and he finds the back of the net. Bases are full of Terriers for Nicole Amodio. Swung on and hit through the right side. That'll do it as BU brings the winning run across. Nicole Amodio plays hero as Kelleher scores. And the Terriers are going to walk it off here in the eighth with a 5-4 victory. Shot, tip in, and a save, no! The circle, winds and drives, and they score another one! Goal there, and then a shot, and another score! You're just a little bit apprehensive, you're on eggshells, and, and once that puck dropped, uh, it was it was an emotional moment because there was a sense of accomplishment. I felt good for the kids. I felt good for that team in particular. I felt great for our staff. And when we played, we also showed all of our other student athletes that, yeah, when we told you early on that we intended to play, we meant it.
The Joseph P. Mercurio Campus Community Recognition Award honors an individual whose support over the past year has proven invaluable and limitless. Although the Joseph Mercurio Campus Community Recognition Award is given to the person who's helped us the most over the last year, in this case, it reflects the entirety of his career. Bill Murray, often behind the scenes, but always lending a helping hand, has been instrumental in our operations, more instrumental in our success. So happy for you, Bill, as we wish you well in your retirement. We're gonna miss you. I speak for the whole university when I say that, and I'm pleased to recognize you with the prestigious Mercurial Campus Community Recognition Award. Thanks for everything. This year's recipient of the Joseph P. Mercurio Campus Community Recognition Award, Bill Murray. I would like to thank Drew and his entire staff for thinking about me with this award. I am honored to be recognized. I have had the opportunity to work at Washington University for many years, primarily overseeing the plumbing shop and the childhood of the campus. But as part of the commencement preparation team on Nickerson Field, each May in advance of graduation, I get a chance to interact with the athletic staff. Over the years, I've developed great friendships with many, including Alan Weinberger, Tim Cavanaugh, Jim Caldella. Though I'm retiring this year, I will be following along with BU Athletics and be rooting for the Terriers for the years to come. Go BU. The Bruce Lehane Coaching Award is presented annually to a Terrier coach who embodies all the characteristics that make us proud of who we are. There are still a number of us here at BU that work with Bruce Lehane, and I see it as our responsibility to keep his name alive. And I'm certainly glad that we named this coaching award for him, and I'm really glad to present it to Sally Starr. Sally was a colleague of Bruce's, um, more importantly, Sally upholds all of Bruce's values. I have some great memories from this year, believe it or not, in a pandemic, and a, a lot of them revolve around our field hockey team. I take our championship appearance uh, as one of the great takeaways that I'll have uh, of this year. The resilience that they showed in the face of adversity, that was uh, a reflection of Sally Starr's leadership. And I also remember walking out to the field uh, to see the team practice the first day of practice and just to just to experience the boundless joy uh, that they were exhibiting was just an awesome feeling and again that was uh, that was because of who they're playing for. Congratulations Coach Starr on winning the Bruce Lehane Coaching Award. What a tremendous honor and a certainly deserved recognition. What you have done in your career here has been absolutely incredible. You have left such an impact not only on your players but administration, other coaches, and the BU community as a whole. What's even more impressive is how you've done it. You coach the right way. You love your kids, you respect them, and you treat them well on and off the field. And that has stood out to me the most. The Carrier Nation just wanted to uh, congratulate Sally Starr on the uh, wonderful Bruce Lane Coaching Award. Her accomplishments at Boston University speak for themselves. Most importantly, she's a person of integrity and somebody who's ran a thorough program. Again, I send my congratulations and wish her well going forward with many years to come. I love what you do. I love how you do it. And I'm incredibly honored that I get to congratulate you tonight on this award. Job well done. I'm always rooting for you. Here's to many more championships. Go Bufa. So Sally, it's your 40th year at BU and we are so proud to have you here. So proud to call you a colleague, so proud to call you a friend, and I know Bruce Lane will be very, very proud to have you win this award. Congratulations. This year's recipient of the Bruce Lane Coach Award. Since arriving at BU 40 years ago, Sally Starr has established and maintained one of the best field hockey programs in the nation. Though beyond the numerous conference titles and NCAA tournament appearances, is a tight-knit culture that Starr built decades ago as she aimed for her student athletes to build lifelong friendships while forever remaining attached to the program. 
Her ongoing legacy shines through Bufa, as it's affectionately known, along with the successes off and on the field of her 200 plus alumni. From field hockey, Sally Starr. It is with tremendous gratitude that I accept the Bruce Lehane Coaches Award. I am grateful to have known Bruce during his entire 35 year coaching career at Boston University and to receive an award that is in his name to honor the impact he had on his student athletes. He truly was a very special coach and colleague. I am also grateful to have had the opportunity over the past 40 years to do something that I feel very passionate about and gives me great joy on a day-to-day -day basis. I am so fortunate to be the Boston University field hockey coach. I would also like to thank the tireless work that the administration has put in over the past year to make it possible for us to have a season this past spring. And lastly, and most importantly, I have tremendous gratitude for my Bufas. This year has not been easy for so many reasons. They continue to work hard and believed in themselves and believed in each other. They have created memories that will stay with them for a lifetime, much more so than a one loss record or a championship. Thank you for this tremendous honor and congratulations to the graduating seniors. Thank you. The Paul Lewis Student Athlete Service Award recognizes a senior who has demonstrated a commitment to serving Boston University, the Department of Athletics, and the larger Boston community over the course of his or her time at BU. Shannon Ma is the perfect recipient of the Paul Lewis Student Athlete Service Award. I had the privilege of knowing Paul as an athlete at BU, and he was an incredible young man with a huge heart and a big smile always on his face. This is exactly who Shannon Ma is. Her involvement on and off campus in both organizations and community service are way too many to list. She gets involved because she truly cares and has a passion to want to make a difference in the lives of her peers, her community, and those less fortunate. Shannon is truly the most selfless person I've ever met. Just the way that she cares for the people around her is so inspiring to me and to our entire team. Um, she's always looking for ways to support and help others out, whether it's small things like thanking the security guards and staff at BU, um, or larger things like advocating for student athletes with SAC and SAOC and other organizations on campus. Her selflessness just really shines through in how she interacts with and treats others and is always thinking about what other people need. Um, and we're just so proud of her and we're so lucky to have her on Bufa. Shannon already has made Bufa very proud of her accomplishments when she received the Scarlet Key Award as one of the top senior leaders at Boston University. This award further exemplifies just how special she is, and we could not be more proud of and happier for her to be acknowledged with this special award. Congratulations, Shannon. This year's recipient of the Paul Lewis Student Athlete Service Award. A selfless teammate who has dedicated her time to making a positive impact through her involvement with the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, BU Student Athletes of Color, and the Social Justice and Inclusion Committee, in addition to several community service initiatives. From field hockey, Shannon Ma. It is such a privilege to be receiving the Paul Lewis Student Athlete Service Award, and I'm honored to be able to give back to the Boston University Athletic Department. I'd like to thank Sally and Tracy and Bufa for bringing me to Boston and supporting my endeavors on and off the field. I'd also like to thank my mom and dad for allowing me to go to a school that's literally as far away from home as you can get and raising me to choose kindness always. Thank you to Drew, Christy, Brittany, Emily, Brendan, Aaron, BK, Phil, and everyone in the athletic department. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to contribute to such a supportive and uplifting department that is committed to helping their student athletes make the most of their time here. The past 12 months have been scary and unpredictable, but I've always felt safe and valued at BU Athletics. And that feeling of belonging was what I was striving to create as a part of SAC and the Social Justice and Inclusion Committee. To my fellow student athletes, thank you to anyone who read any SAC email, didn't unsubscribe from them, came to a SAC meeting, town hall, anything. I appreciate you all. We are also lucky to be part of a community where everyone in the athletic department is committed to you and helping you to achieve your goals and getting the most out of your time here because it goes so fast.
The John B. Simpson Award is being handed out for the 25th straight year and is given to the male and female senior student athletes who have demonstrated enthusiasm and leadership. Georgie, congrats on being named a recipient of the John B. Simpson Award for 2021. You now enter an elite group of student athletes who have worn the, the jersey and honored this university and athletic department. So for myself, staff, uh, the guys, the program, uh, congratulations, we're really proud of you. Charge G, congrats on winning the John B. Simpson Award. Your energy and enthusiasm are contagious and there's no one who deserves this award more than you. On behalf of the whole men's soccer team, we're all really excited to see what the future has in store for you. I'm really gonna miss my teammate, roommate, and best friend, but I know you're off to big things at Cal Berkeley. I can't wait to see you absolutely dominate law school. And I just wanted to say I'm really proud of you. Congratulations, man. Georgie, congratulations on receiving this award, mate. There is no other person who really deserves it more than you. You always had your obstacles, whether that's injuries or finding a position, but that's never stopped you from working hard. You are one of the most resilient and mentally tough people that I know, and you are a true catalyst on this team. I really do hope that you carry it through with you in the future, and well done once again on receiving the award. You've listened and been there for your teammates, so it's been a great example to watch and uh, for, for us, uh, we're really going to miss you. So um, excited for what the West Coast chapter has in store moving forward. Uh, much love and uh, we'll catch you soon, bud. All the best. This year's recipient of the John B. Simpson Award, an enthusiastic senior leader and social media coordinator with Boston University Student Athlete Advisory Committee from men's soccer, George Abinaw. Hello everyone, George Amina from the men's soccer team here and I could not be more grateful to be receiving the John B. Simpson Award this evening. John B. Simpson was a great leader throughout his time as athletic director at BU and was a pioneer for all of college athletics. Despite all the success he had in building winning programs from the ground up, those who knew him best said that the thing he took the most pride in was the relationships he built and the connections he was able to have with those around him. These are the same values I've helped guide me throughout my time as a BU student athlete. When it comes to sports, I've learned that there are so many things that are not in our control. Unfortunately, my Achilles heel has been injuries. But despite all of this, I focus on the things that I can control, and that is the attitude I bring in every single day I get to be on the field and around my teammates. To me, being a leader doesn't mean that you're a senior or that you're a captain. It's the way you carry yourself and how you're able to uplift others even when you might not be in the best position yourself. Every day, whether I was on the field, in the weight room, around campus, or around the athletic department, I made sure that when people looked at me, they saw something they could do, they saw someone that was doing something right, and they would be able to implement it in their own lives. Everybody falls into different categories. Some people might be starters, some people might not play as much, and others like me might unfortunately always find themselves injured. But no matter where you stand, there's always a place for you to make an impact. For me, the best barometer of success is that when you leave a program, it's in a better place than when you first came. And if you're able to see this change after you've left, then you know you've done a good job. For me, I've enjoyed my time as a BU student athlete so much, and the memories I've had, the people I've made, and all the lasting family members I have from the BU community are what I'll always carry with me for the rest of my life. So as I move on to the next stage and I become a fan and a proud alumni, I can't wait to see what not just the soccer program does, but all of BU athletics, and I can't wait to see how the athletic department moves forward. So one last time, go Terriers. The John B. Simpson Award is being handed out for the 25th straight year and is given to the male and female senior student athletes who have demonstrated enthusiasm and leadership. Hi Lily, congratulations on the John B. Simpson Award. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more than you. Hey Lily, on behalf of the women's tennis team, congratulations on winning the John B. Simpson Award. You've made so many special contributions to your team over the past four years and have really um, represented us well both on and off the court. Congratulations, I can't wait to see where post-grad life takes you. Thank you for everything you've done on and off the court for BU Tennis 
and go be you. This year's recipient of the John B. Simpson Award, a two-time team captain and current president of Boston University's Student Athlete Advisory Committee from women's tennis, Lily Burchell. I am very honored and humbled to be one of the recipients of this year's John B. Simpson Award. Even more so, I am grateful to have been a student athlete here at BU these past four years. Obviously, this last year had been different from previous ones, but I tried to see it as an opportunity. While we may not have been able to have spectators or travel as much as we used to, and we had to wear masks and social distance, we were still able to play and compete. For me, this year allowed me to see every minute I spend on court at BU as a gift. I saw how easily it could be taken away from us last year, which only encouraged me to make the most out of every minute this year. Especially knowing this would be my final season at BU, I really wanted to enjoy it. Enjoy practicing, competing, lifting, my team, and BU all together. I feel very lucky to be in a place that allowed me to do that, and I have to applaud each and every one of my teammates and coaches for committing to sharing this opportunistic outlook with me that allowed us to still have an amazing and incredibly fulfilling season. I've met so many incredible people at BU who helped me thrive and grow into the person that I am today. I'm grateful for my coaches who have pushed me day in and day out, my amazing teammates who've always cheered me on and kept me smiling through every practice and match, and for the exceptional administrators who work in the athletic department. I have made great and long lasting relationships with many of them that I do not think I would have been able to do elsewhere. I'm also always grateful for my amazing parents who up until this year came to just about every one of our matches. My enthusiasm and pride in being a Terrier will live far beyond my graduating this May. Thank you all very much again and go dogs. The John B. Simpson Award is being handed out for the 25th straight year and is given to the male and female senior student athletes who have demonstrated enthusiasm and leadership. Hello, Macasia Hayes. It is my honor and privilege to wish you a very big congratulations on being recognized and awarded the John B. Simpson Award presented by BU Athletics for just outstanding leadership and character demonstrated within the trenches amongst your peers. You have been a phenomenal part of the growth of this culture ever since I got here a year and a half ago. Thank you for being a partner with me and a partner with your teammates and your community. Congratulations on winning the John B. Simpson Leadership Award, Makasia. We can't think of anybody else who is more deserving or a better leader for our team. Isn't that right, Dio? I think he agrees. <laughs> Congrats. I, I just can't thank you enough and tell you how proud I am and so is all of the athletics. Congratulations again, ma'am. This year's recipient of the John B. Simpson Award, a senior captain who has epitomized enthusiastic senior leadership, leading by example on and off the track and inspiring those around her to be better. The heart and soul of the track and field team, Macasia Hay. Hello, everyone. I'm incredibly honored and grateful to be receiving the John B. Simpson Award for leadership this evening. I first want to give a shout out to my incredible teammates, coaches, and the BU athletic community for giving me the support and platform to be a leader in this space. I've enjoyed so much of my time here at BU, but the one thing that I will carry with me forever are the relationships that I've built. BU athletics has given me lifelong friendships, mentors, and a slew of people that I now consider family, and that's something that I'll cherish forever. So hopefully the next time that we do this ceremony, it'll be in person, but I just want to say thank you again for the amazing award, and go dogs! Spear Award is given annually to our top male senior scholar athlete, combining academic achievement and athletic ability. David, congratulations on the e Ray Spear Award, which is given to the top male scholar athlete, combining their academic achievement and athletic ability. You truly deserve this award. You've done tremendously in the classroom over the past couple of years. You've also done tremendously on the tennis court. David, how surreal is it that our college careers are coming to a close, man? I mean, 
you've had an incredible four years here at BU. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about when you're a senior, how do you want to be remembered? And we were freshmen at the time. And you said, I want to be seen as a winner. And I think that your last four years here have exemplified that sentiment to a T. You know, there's no one that deserves this one more than you and all the work you've put in, all the hours in the gym and on the court, there's nothing that will take that away from you. And from the bottom of my heart, man, and from all the guys, I just want to say that we're so proud of you and that you really, really, really deserve this one. So congratulations. You've led us to some great wins. You've some great battles over the years. I can't thank you enough for that. And um, we'll truly miss you next year. This year's recipient of the E-Ray Spear Award, a first team all Patriot League honoree and three time Patriot League academic honor roll member with a 3.60 GPA in the Questrom School of Business. From men's tennis, David Bogatin. I'm very humbled to receive this award. It's an amazing honor to finish off my senior year like this. I want to thank my coaches for not only nominating me, but also for supporting me throughout my four years, providing me with everything I needed to succeed and dealing with all the curveballs I was throwing at them sometimes. I want to thank my teammates for really shaping my whole college experience and always being there for me and for everyone else on the team, especially the seniors who came here the same year as me. We grew together, we got better together, and we had a great time. I will truly miss every single one of you. And most importantly, biggest thanks go to my parents. I know how hard it was for you to send me away to the tennis academy first and to college after that. To my dad, thanks for the opportunity you provided me with to go study and play tennis thousands of miles away from you. And for my mom to always supporting my tennis career and constantly believing in me. I couldn't have asked for a better life than the one you gave me. Спасибо, я вас очень люблю. When I got here, I set one goal for myself and how I want my teammates and coaches to see me. And this award has proven that I've been successful in accomplishing it, and it gives me great pleasure to know that I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve here as a student athlete. Tennis has made my life great and my college life even better. I can't believe this is all over now, but I will never forget the lessons it taught me, and I will cherish all the memories I had throughout my time here. Thank you, and go be you. The Gretchen Schuyler Award is given annually to our top female senior scholar athlete, combining academic achievement and athletic ability. Hello, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Brian DeRocher, the women's hockey coach here at Boston University. I want to start by congratulating all of tonight's winners and recognizing all the seniors and their great accomplishments over the past four years. I'm here to present the Gretchen Schuyler Student Athlete Award to goaltender Kareem Schroeder. Kareem was a two-time All-Star in Hockey East and a true backbone of our team on the ice uh, each and every game she played. Uh, she was also a model student who challenged herself with uh, multiple uh, degrees and uh, success in the classroom. Her GPA is of the highest level and uh, the volume of classes that she had uh, certainly exceeded the uh, required number here at Boston University. Hey Shroads, congratulations. You are so deserving of this award. You're such an amazing teammate and friend. I am so proud of you. This is an amazing accomplishment. I couldn't think of anybody more deserving and I can't wait to see what you do in the future and congratulations. I congratulate her and uh, all of you seniors, uh, go be you. This year's recipient of the Gretchen Schuyler Award Graduating with team career records for both save percentage and goals against average, a two-time AHCA All-American Scholar from women's ice hockey, Kareen Schroeder. Hi everyone, I'm honored to be accepting the Gretchen Schuyler Award this year. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents for teaching me the importance of academics and hard work. I'd also like to thank them for helping me to pursue my dreams of playing college hockey and for giving me every opportunity to succeed. I'd also like to thank my coaches, Brian DeRocher, Liz Keaty Norton, Tara Watchhorn, Amy Zappin, and my strength coach Moss for helping me to excel in hockey during my time here at BU, and also for helping me to develop into the best hockey player I could be. 
I'd also like to thank my professors and academic advisors who helped me to succeed in the classroom and earn my dual degree. Thank you, and go be you. And now it's time for our segment of the awards program. Nominated by student athletes, voted on by student athletes, and for student athletes. The Student Athlete Choice Awards. We hope you enjoy. The Unsung Hero Award recognizes two student athletes, one male and one female, who have influenced the team from behind the scenes with a positive attitude, a willingness to help in whatever capacity necessary, and a commitment to excellence. From men swimming and diving, Daniel Bradford, from men's basketball, Jonas Harper. From men's track and field, Fred Liu. This year's winner for male unsung hero. From men's basketball, Jonas Harper. The Unsung Hero Award recognizes two student athletes, one male and one female, who have influenced the team from behind the scenes with a positive attitude, a willingness to help in whatever capacity necessary, and a commitment to excellence. From women's lacrosse, Megan Hickey. From women's tennis, Stephanie Wen. From women's rowing, Sophie Winbush. This year's winner for Female Unsung Hero. From women's lacrosse, Megan Hickey. The Rookie of the Year, a new award this season, recognizes two freshman student athletes, one male and one female, who made an immediate impact on their program while excelling in their sport. From men's cross country, Matthew Mason. From men's soccer, Andrew Rent. From men's lacrosse, Christian Quadrino. The winner for Male Rookie of the Year. From men's cross country, Matthew Mason. The Rookie of the Year, a new award this season, recognizes two freshman student athletes, one male and one female, who made an immediate impact on their program while excelling in their sport. From women's tennis, Victoria Carlston. From field hockey, Talia Steenzins. From women's golf, Flair Kwan. The winner for Female Rookie of the Year. From field hockey, Talia Steenzins. The Breakout Athlete Award recognizes two student athletes, one male and one female, who excelled this year and made significant contributions to the team, raising the level of their game through hard work and determination. From men's lacrosse, Vince D'Alto. From men's basketball, Sukmail Matone. From men's ice hockey, Alex Vlasic. The winner for male Breakout Athlete of the Year. From men's basketball, Sukmail Matone. The Breakout Athlete Award recognizes two student athletes, one male and one female, who excelled this year and made significant contributions to the team, raising the level of their game through hard work and determination. From softball, Allison Boaz. From women's lightweight rowing, Katherine Griskowitz. From women's basketball, Sydney Johnson. The winner for Female Breakout Athlete of the Year. From women's lightweight rowing, Katherine Griskowitz. The Play of the Year Award goes to the team or individual that executed the most outstanding play in their area of competition. From women's soccer, Morgan Messner's save against Colgate. From softball, Kayla Ronson's home run against Colgate. From men's lacrosse, Christian Quadrino's goal against Army. 
The winner for play of the year. From men's lacrosse, Christian Quadrino's goal against Army. The Moment of the Year Award goes to the team or individual with a singular achievement that resonated throughout the department. Women's Cross Country captures the Patriot League title behind Andrea Clausen. Field Hockey defeats Colgate in their home opener without any substitute. Whitney DuPlessis makes 40 saves in debut as men's ice hockey upset top-ranked Boston College. The winner for Moment of the Year. Women's Cross Country captures the Patriot League title behind two top five finishes and a second place overall finish by Andrea Clausen. Teammate of the Year. This award recognizes student athletes who exemplified leadership, motivation, and optimism throughout the 2020-21 season. This award does not necessarily need to be a student athlete who held a captain leadership role on his or her team. From men's rowing, Michael Boston. From men's track and field, Logan Brodner. From men's lacrosse, Andrew Martin. This year's winner for Male Teammate of the Year. From men's lacrosse, Andrew Martin. Teammate of the Year. This award recognizes student athletes who exemplified leadership, motivation, and optimism throughout the 2020-21 season. This award does not necessarily need to be a student athlete who held a captain leadership role on his or her team. From lightweight rowing, Tamara Gelfman. From women's swimming and diving, Sydney Lee. From women's track and field, Macy Monborn. This year's winner for Female Teammate of the Year. From women's swimming and diving, Sydney Lee. There are no better groups of individuals that show their support for BU athletics and true Terrier pride like the BU Spirit Squads. We miss seeing the band, cheer, dance, and mascot teams at competitions this year and can't wait to have them back in action with us soon. Congratulations to the graduating members for all you've accomplished these last four years. The Mildred Barnes Award is given annually to the Boston University student athlete who is chosen as the top female athlete of the year, regardless of class year. Congratulations, Allie, on the Mildred Barnes Award. How amazing. Every accolade award is just a testament to your hard work and your passion and your love of pitching. There is nothing better than seeing that number 16 jersey in the middle of the field taking them out every single day. I love your love of the sport, and I love how you love to win. That never satisfied attitude has propelled you to do the greatest things. Allie, congrats on winning the Mildred Barnes Award. The past four years here with you have been amazing. You are an absolute beast on the field and it has been an honor playing beside you. You are one of the most hardworking people I know and it is no surprise that you continue to accomplish unprecedented things here at BU. You are a great friend and teammate and we are so proud of you. We love you, congrats. I feel so fortunate that I've been on your journey. And I feel so fortunate that we have you for one more year. The best is yet to come. I'm so proud of you. I love you. How great is it that you chose BU and that BU chose you. It was a match made in heaven. Proud of you. This year's recipient of the Mildred Barnes Award, a five-time 2021 Patriot League Pitcher of the Week and ranking number two all-time both at BU and in the Patriot League for wins from softball. Allie Dubois. Hi everyone. I'm so honored to virtually accept the Mildred Barnes Award for BU's top female athlete. I'm so grateful to have so many people in my life who have supported me these past couple of years. So first I would like to thank my teammates. None of this would be possible without the hard work you guys put in every single day and your endless support. I truly appreciate all of you guys. I would also like to thank all of my coaches for all the extra bullpens, time, and support you put in to make this possible. 
Another big thank you to Drew for always being in our corner and helping this program reach new levels and to the athletic department for all the work you guys put in behind the scenes. We appreciate it so much. Lastly, a huge thank you to my family and all my friends who have been there since day one and who have not only supported me on the field, but off the field as well. So thank you everyone. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. The Woman of the Year Award honors a senior student athlete for her collegiate achievements in service, leadership, athletics, and academics. Hello, Veronica Chris. Coach Sanders here, and I'm here to say congratulations on being awarded the Woman of the Year recipient for BU Athletics. And along those lines, thank you as well for all the work and nurture and care that you've demonstrated as a part of this program to earn the title of Woman of the Year. So Veronica, I just want to say a big congratulations for winning Woman of the Year. I see how hard you work day in, day out at everything you do, and I can't think of a better, more deserving person for this award. Love you, and I'm super proud of you and everything you do. Go dogs! Congrats on winning the Woman of the Year award, Veronica. The love and dedication that you show to our team is definitely unmatched, and you truly do deserve this award. So. Congratulations. The women's cross country program has a phenomenal, nurturing, uh, caring environment and culture, and you undoubtedly have been at the center of that for quite some time. So I, I couldn't think of a more deserving recipient of this award, and I'm just so proud to have you part of our program. This year's recipient of the Woman of the Year Award, leading her team to back-to-back -to -back Patriot League championships in her final two years a perennial Patriot League Academic Honor Roll nominee from Women's Cross Country, Veronica Chris. I feel extremely honored to be receiving this award. My teammate, Abby Google, won this award last year and I'm very grateful to be following in her footsteps. I wanna thank my coaches, Coach O, Tyler, and Coach Spangler for always supporting and encouraging me to be the best version of myself on and off the track. Being on this team has meant everything to me and I would not be here without my coaches or my teammates. I also want to thank my Athlete Ally eBoard. Being a part of Athlete Ally has been a huge part of my athletic experience. Our group passionately works to promote diversity and inclusivity within the athletic community. I'm very proud of everything we've accomplished over the years. Go dogs! We know this past year has been tough, but we are still so happy to have been able to celebrate all of your hard work and accomplishments. Thank you for being resilient and making the most of the year, despite its obvious challenges, and for always showing up with good energy and a smile. Congratulations to everyone and have a great summer. Can't wait to see you in the fall.